So we got one of the biggest construction projects in the whole entire United States. This is not a small project by any means. This is gonna be the building that's gonna be built in San Francisco. And I don't know why they decided to build such a high caliber unit, pretty much right next to the trenches. But Hayes Point is gonna be a 47 story mixed use building. They're gonna sell condos. It's gonna have offices, like you name it. It's even like a sky garden. And I'm sure it's gonna be having some of the hottest amenities. And right now, Lynn Least has paused work on the San Francisco skyscraper. That broke ground 11 months ago. So if you check out the location, it's actually pretty bad, okay? And you already have a lot of these rich people, investors leaving San Francisco for other places around the world. I mean, come on. You have straight up gunfire in the middle of the street, just blocks from this guy's dinner. And no wonder people just don't want to come here anymore. So this is Hayes Point. It's right here, and it's pretty much a stone's throw away from the X headquarters, or AKA Twitter. And if you put the little Google guy down, you see they've already broken ground. And San Francisco projects, let me tell you this, it is very, very difficult to get the green light on a project. It's extremely difficult to get any project, especially a skyscraper, erected. These are projects that take years in the making, and usually when you get like the green light to build a skyscraper, you build that, right? Because it's basically guaranteed money in some place like San Francisco where offices are easily rented out, apartments, everyone wants it, and condos are easily sold out. But that's not the condition anymore. And especially how the Tenderland District over here is slowly already coming out. The Civic Center, which is where Hayes Point is located, is a pretty disgusting place to be. And even ex-employees are saying, hey man, going to X and working every single day, you got to tread through like people doing crack, fentanyl, there's drug use, there's violence. I guarantee you, if you buy a condo here, you're going to regret it. Not that you could even buy a condo because they basically halted construction. And this is going to be a $1.2 billion structure. This is the biggest project so far in San Francisco. And now they have fully paused it because right now, this tower is probably not going to make money. If you guys don't know what's going on in San Francisco, there is a huge exodus of companies and businesses. And if you're going to go through with this and start constructing, it's going to take you two to three years to finish, not to mention $1.2 billion. Now, I'm sure they've already put in like a crap ton of money on like the getting the rental machinery, getting the paperwork done. But if you actually start constructing it, it's gonna cost you over a billion dollars. Right now they probably spent tens of millions of dollars on architects, you know, hiring people, getting things prepared. But they haven't actually started doing like the steel frameworks and like the main sectors of the foundation. So this is actually a pretty smart move because I don't really think people are gonna buy over 300 condos. And I don't think any office, any company, is gonna come in and rent almost 300,000 square feet of office. Retail is basically dead. Art galleries are leaving. And yeah, this is by far one of the worst places to do any sort of project. Like seriously, this is not a good neighborhood. This is a bad neighborhood. The Civic Center, I have a lot of clips to show you about the Civic Center. It's basically like the bad part of town. It used to be the Tenderland District, but the Tenderland District has really grown out, and now it's going to the Civic Center. Knob Hill is experiencing a lot of violence. This is probably one of the nastiest places to be, and it's a shame because this project recently got a green light, and they don't want to build anymore. They're halting construction, and they're going to be leaving. They're going to be taking their money out of San Francisco, and this is a smart move, guys. If I was a CEO of this project, if I was a leader, I would be saying the same thing. I would not give the green light to go through. I would not start building because you're not going to have anyone buying these condos. Most of the VCs and the wealthy individuals, they've left. Well, what international buyers? I don't think the Chinese are going to be buying San Francisco condos. They actually despise the city because it's so dirty. What about like some of the Middle Eastern buyers? I don't think so either. What about wealthy individuals from Europe? They're definitely not buying in San Francisco. We could buy so many better properties like in Austin, Miami, Las Vegas, New York City. Why do you buy in San Francisco? This place is a complete dump. I mean, you just got to go through this every single day, right? There's crime everywhere, obviously, in every city, but only San Francisco where you have intense crime and everyone could just get away with it. In fact, some people even joke that robberies and burglaries are basically like a side hustle at this point because there's no consequences at all 
for any of this. And this is by far a failed state. I mean, even this jogger is getting threatened with firearms. I mean, look at what this looks like. This is actually just a stone's throw away from the skyscraper that they're building. And let me show you guys a few more videos, right? People are coming back to San Francisco. They just, they just straight up see people just high, just on fentanyl. They're on opioids, on all sorts of different drugs. And look at this video. This is going to San Francisco Federal Building. This is literally just three blocks away from this building construction. And this is what it looks like. And the Federal Building, you know, Nancy Pelosi, all that stuff, they're pretty much told employees don't even come back to the city. Just work from home online. Do not come to the city. Because it's a liability for coming to the city. Because you're probably going to get hurt and maybe even worse if you come to the city. This is what it looks like. And it amazes me, right? I mean, there's just tents everywhere, people high everywhere, and the city's just cool with it. The city says that this is in recovery mode. Like, what is this? Like, like this is like some third world country stuff. This is like something from a zombie film. And nobody cares. The city really doesn't care, doesn't clean up. I mean, I've been to several cities around the world, and I've never seen a scene like this. Not even in very poor countries. I mean, it's at least no one's just getting high on the streets and open air drug markets. San Francisco is a complete dump. They're not ever going to recover. And it's a shame because the city is actually very good. So I'm really hoping that the city could change as soon as possible because everything is so lax. They don't really address a lot of these issues, in my opinion. They're always addressing other issues. But like, if you want companies to come back, it's really, it's really simple. It's not rocket science. You just got to have clean streets and just not have just a bunch of people high on the streets and homeless people in camps. People don't like that. And tourism doesn't like that. Why don't you do something like what San Diego did? Pretty much ban homeless encampments and just pretty much have designated places for homeless camps. Not the best solution, but it's better than what San Francisco is doing, which is basically a rundown town at this point. Oh, if you own an apartment building in San Francisco, good luck. If a bunch of tents pop up in front of your door, you're pretty much screwed at that point. And this is why private security, private muscle in San Francisco is such a big business now. I mean, this is like Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, and this skyscraper, good luck. It's never being built. They're completely done. They probably see what it looks like. Office vacancies are probably more than 50% because a lot of those buildings being leased out are empty. Those employees have already left and they're just waiting for the lease to end before they cancel it. And this is sad because you have a lot of prime office space. This is a city that's dying. Businesses are gone. Do not fall for what people are saying, like, oh, San Francisco is having a lot of businesses moving back. Absolutely not. Recently, everyone's talking about this IKEA thing, how IKEA is moving to San Francisco. Yeah, IKEA is moving in, but like five, six hundred stores already moved out. Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? Why don't you cover about those small businesses leaving in the hundreds? This is why there's so many vacancies on Market Street, which is considered prime real estate. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. It's over for San Francisco unless they change things up.